Hello guys, today we'll be telling you about the scope of electronics engineering in 2022, whether it's worth it or not. There are a lot of people who say that electronics engineering is a growing field, while some might say that it does not have any scope and that the engineering students aren't getting any jobs. Well, in this video, you will have a clear idea about the actual scope of electronics engineering. So do watch this video till the end. So to put some light on this subject, today we are going to discuss this matter with the CEO of Nivan Solutions, Mr. Neerat Sawant. Namaste. Namaste. So can you give us a description about electronics engineering? Is it all about soldering and hardware? Well, it's not all about hardware and soldering. Hardware and soldering are a part of electronics engineering, but it's not all about that. A major part of electronics engineering is also about firmware development. First of all, electronics engineer uh, creates a circuit diagram or uh, you know a, a layout of the you know the system how it is going to work based on the circuit diagram the engineer designs a pcb and then comes the assembling uh, part where all components are assembled on the pcb and then they are soldered on it then there comes the microcontroller programming part so these are the kind of microcontrollers so some microcontrollers are programmed using embedded c others like controller boards like raspberry pi and arduino they are programmed uh, using other languages, Arduino tools, as well as Python. So uh, electronics, to put it in short, is a combination of hardware as well as firmware. That means programming the hardware. So sir, how are you related to electronics and what can you tell us about its scope? So we have a electronics research department where we research and develop over 3000 plus electronics kits every year. We also provide research and development services to companies who need to either develop a new product or make some improvements or improvise their existing products. Well, to understand the scope of this field, we must first understand the applications of electronics. Now, let me tell you one thing. Electronics has a lot of applications. Electronics is used almost everywhere. Let's uh, take example of railways, the train systems. Okay, railways, you know, you must have seen those uh, indicator boards in railways where, you know, where they indicate the upcoming station, which station is going to come next. Then there are automatic air conditioning systems, temperature control system, which use sensors, even uh, automatic braking systems that are used in trains, the uh, you know, automatic visitor sensing systems, even the railway platforms. The, even they have those indicators where you know it is displayed the next train to come upcoming uh, train and their timings so similar type of applications are also in the bus transport industry apart from this you have uh, these infotainment systems entertainment systems in your car the music player cd player systems then uh, we have those you know smart tvs speaker systems bluetooth speakers uh, there is technology in your pocket. We all use mobile phones and in, uh, you have you know, PCBs, printed circuit boards and mobile phones. You know, so PCBs are used everywhere. So in, in short, the scope of electronics is very high. You know, there is a large scope in electronics, but now there is a but and I'm going to cover this but later in the video. So this was the current scope of electronics engineering. Now we'll talk about the future scope of electronics engineering. So the future scope of electronics engineering is you know, even brighter than the current scope. Uh, in future, you, you see robotics is finding its way in uh, today's industries. Today's industries are heavily investing in robotics to automate their processes and you know, increase their efficiency. And robotics is a field which is heavily dependent on electronics engineering. Apart from that, we have smart devices like Alexa, which are finding their way into our homes. And uh, then we have these vision based systems, we have drones, we have uh, IoT, Internet of Things technology, which is, which is also finding its way into a lot of applications. So, in short, the future of electronics engineering is only going to grow in the future. But now let's uh, cover that but which I mentioned earlier. But for example, let's consider this PCB board. So, this is a developed PCB board. So where, what is the role of an electronics engineer in developing this PCB board and when uh, is the role needed? So when this, this may be any board for any uh, electrical machine board or uh, medical equipment board. Okay, this may be any board. But the role of electronics engineer was involved in the development of this board only when it was designed for the first time, when it was researched and developed for the first time. Once it is developed completely, once the research is done, it is put into production. 
okay for example when uh, this is a product it also has a pcb board okay this is a remote it also has a pcb board electronics but once this was developed this is now mass produced now during the mass production process electronics engineering is not usually required unless uh, it is for you know uh, testing or uh, calibration process maybe so the mainly electronics engineers will be required only when you need to make some changes to this product or you need to develop some other product the thing is electronics engineers are not uh, required in the day to day production process their role comes only when new product is to be researched or existing product has to be uh, need some new features or changes or need some improvements okay this was the overall scope of it what about the scope of electronics in india whether it be india or any other country i'll give you a common formula how you can you know uh, estimate the scope of engineering in that particular region state or country first of all there are two types of job vacancies you know in, in two different sectors the government sector and the private sector in government sectors i'll give you again the uh, example of railways railways also has you know railways heavily dependent on electronics from their power systems to you know uh, Uh, indicator displays to control and braking systems so even they have an electronics department apart from that we have uh, in the government sector we have uh, electronics departments in the uh, power station the power power generation stations radar stations or weather uh, stations and weather for, uh, forecasting uh, this thing like even gas supply systems so almost each government sector you know which has electronics involved in their processes or in their uh, supply chain they need to have an electronics engineering department where they can either develop or research new things or new uh, products or they can uh, make changes to their existing and old systems this was the government sector apart from that we have the private sector now in private sector you need to see electronics uh, engineering research and development companies in your area or you have the production companies these mobile phone manufacturers and you know these manufacturers either they have a production center or a research and development center in your particular region because the uh, vacancy for uh, electronics engineering will only be there where you have electronics departments or the companies have research centers in that particular area so that is the way you can define the scope of electronics you know jobs in that particular area so electronics and electrical are like uh, two sides of a coin both engineerings are interdependent on each other and electronics is more inclined towards firmware development or microcontroller coding you can say wherein we have this kind of microcontrollers so these uh, are like you know brains of a electronic circuitry all modern pcbs or uh, electronic systems usually involve a microcontroller an electronics engineer writes a code which is put inside this chip or microcontrollers and this acts as a brain of the system while electrical engineering is more uh, inclined towards power calculation power transfer and ac to dc power conversions wherein uh, if you see example of a transformer this is a power supply transformer it has you know copper coils uh, winded inside it so the calculation of these windings for example you are going to get a 110 volt ac supply and you need to convert it to a dc supply now the different uh, electronic systems or different applications uh, require different kinds of power supply so electrical engineer is more inclined towards you know providing those power supply using uh, these uh, calculations transformer uh, calculations and in short it is all about power supply and uh, ac to dc conversion so any application that needs a particular power supply the electrical engineering is the right department which uh, will uh, get that particular power supply done now to conclude this you know whether electronics engineering has a good scope is a good career path or not i can only say uh, the calculation is simple it depends from region to region in a particular region if you have you know government departments which have uh, which have jobs for electronics engineering or you have production centers or research and development centers of private companies that have electronics engineering jobs because the applications are endless there are lots of companies who are developing electronics products so each manufacturer has a job for electronics engineer and apart from that every government department today also has an electronics and electrical department so the scope is very high and it is only going to increase in the future you just have to check that if uh, you know these companies or these vacancies are there in your in that particular region else you have to you know migrate to some other region where uh, you have you no know, requirement for electronics engineering a good decision is based on knowledge 
Hope you have understood the scope of electronics engineering and take the right decision for yourself. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for further notifications. See you again.